Soldering is a skill that many first-time railroaders can find a little bit intimidating. Like most, it's not that hard once you get started with it. So Lionel, we thought we'd give you a chance to see uh, very simply how you solder the basics together for those few times that you may need it while you're wiring your, wiring your railroad. First thing we're going to talk about are the tools of the trades. You want a good soldering iron or soldering gun. This is a uh, 140 and 100 watt soldering gun. This is about as big as you're going to need for most modeling applications. Obviously you're going to want some solder and also some soldering flux. This comes in a couple of different forms and varieties and what that will do is help the solder flow much easier. It lowers the melting point of the solder and allows it to flow easily into uh, smaller areas. A good pair of wire strippers and an assortment of pliers are also a good thing as you're handling wire. You also need some way of sealing the uh, solder joints once they're finished. Good old-fashioned electrical tape is always an option. There's also a liquid version of electrical tape that you can use as well as heat shrink tubing which is available through electronic stores and wholesalers. The first skill that we're going to talk about is called tinning a wire. And this is basically putting a small amount of, of solder around the edge of the wire which will make it easier to solder uh, and make a connection later. We'll begin by stripping the end of our wire here. And you have to remember when you're stripping wire that the electricity in the wire flows around the wire, not through it. So you want to make sure you use a, a pair of strippers that are sized for the wire that you're using and that you don't squeeze too hard and, and break any of the threads of the wire. Now that we've exposed the wire, we're ready to go ahead and, and tin the end of it. I'm going to dip the wire in a little bit of soldering flux here just to get it coated. You don't need a lot on there. And then we'll begin the soldering. Now this is going to be a little bit more tricky since I'm trying to do this for you and show everything with only two hands, but we can make this work. Let the gun get hot first. And actually with the little bit of solder that's still left on the gun from the last job, there's probably enough there already to solder a nice little bit of tinning on that and get a little bit, bit of solder around the edge. Uh, if not, you just simply touch a little bit of solder onto the wire and you'll be all set. Now I'm going to bring in another piece of wire. I've got this held on with an extra set of fingers here so you can see it a little bit better. And with the two wires tinned, I can make this connection very quickly. And with just a few seconds of heat, I now have a joint that is very strong. In fact, so strong I actually pulled the wire out of the insulation. As you can see, it doesn't take a lot of solder to make a good solder joint. Move on to a more typical installation here. We've got, in this case, actually a pair, a single wire. We use this to represent a pair of wires that we'd like to join end to end. We make an X and then twist the two leads together like so. Okay. This is actually probably a longer tail than we would need to make a good solid electrical and mechanical connection here, but we'll leave it long so you can see uh, this process a little bit better. I'm going to apply a little bit of flux to that just by again dipping it in in the flux itself, wiping off the excess. Uh, you don't need a whole lot. The camera can focus on it. And now we'll go ahead and solder. When you solder with your wires, what you remember want to do is always apply the heat and the solder to the wire, not the solder onto the gun. Okay, let's solder these two wires together now. We're going to apply the heat to the wire and, to the, and the solder to the heat, not the solder directly to the gun and try and spread it around. This will give us a much smoother joint. There you have it. In just a few seconds and a little bit of solder, we have a nice clean joint. The wires are nice and tightly wound together. They're never going to come apart. 
we can trim that back a little bit more if we'd like because you really don't need all of that for a good mechanical connection to insulate this would fold the wire over against itself and then wrap that joint in a little bit of electrical tape so that nothing else underneath the layout would come in contact with it and create a short. That's all there is to a basic introduction to soldering. You see a little bit of flux, a little bit of solder, applying the heat and the solder in the right place in the right time. Everything goes very smoothly. When you're done, each time, simply take your tool, whether it's an iron or a gun, dip it in the soldering paste a little bit. That'll help clean off the tip. Wipe it off quickly on an old paper towel and your tip stays nice and clean. The cleaner you keep your, your tool, the more efficient it will be as you try and solder with it. Hope you've enjoyed this little series as well as the rest of our Wiring Your Railroad series on our blog and YouTube channel.